Now with more on the issues that could sway the voters. Ray and Micah, public safety may be the biggest issue for Chicago voters, but the economy is also high on people's list. At forums and in press availabilities, the candidates for mayor have pushed their financial plans. Tonight, a brief look at their ideas. Today, Old Navy closes its State Street location, creating another retail vacancy in downtown Chicago. The magnificent mile is dying. We are built a city that is built on a large population. Every time we lose a business, every time we lose um, residents, that is a negative. It doesn't help. Retail abandonment, corporate relocations, and fears of crime are hot topics on the campaign trail as the candidates for mayor discuss ways to bolster Chicago's economy. Jamal Green, who is pushing for a public bank, vows to embrace development plans backed by the Mag Mile Association. He's also calling for 10,000 new homeowners with a single family mortgage bond. Brandon Johnson wants $1 billion in new spending. He plans to pay for it with tax hikes, including a metro city surcharge, taxing high-end homes, and reinstating the $4 a month per employee head tax. Paul Vallis is touting his experience balancing multi-billion dollar budgets and negotiating numerous collective bargaining agreements. He wants direct assistance for businesses and a cap on property tax increases. Sophia King, who championed the city's $15 an hour minimum wage, is stressing the need for greater minority participation in city projects. Cam Buckner, a state legislator, says he'll make Chicago's pilot cash assistance program permanent and he backs a massive overhaul of the CTA. Willie Wilson is promising to cut taxes, but also funnel money to the homeless, seniors, and churches. Roderick Sawyer, an alderman, is calling for an overhaul of the city's TIF program, and he wants to revamp vacant lots and abandoned properties. Jesus Chuy Garcia, who has not yet released his economic plan, talks about the billions in COVID resources and infrastructure dollars he secured for Chicago as a member of Congress. And Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who the challengers blame for the city's economic woes, says she'll continue her push for, quote, economic justice. She holds up her Invest Southwest program, $170 million for housing insecurity, monthly cash assistance for low-income workers, and her plan to revitalize LaSalle Street. Lawrence Massal of the Civic Federation is paying close attention to the candidates' proposals, but he says none of their good ideas will matter unless Chicagoans feel safe. Really, for the business community immediately, it's safety. Do people feel safe downtown? Does it feel safe on the L? Does it feel safe when you're walking in your neighborhood? We'll hear the candidates address this and other issues coming up a week from today during a 90-minute forum airing right here on WGN-TV. It is at 7 o'clock next Tuesday, 7 to 8.